I'm Aaron Graber with Ventrac, and today we're doing everyone's favorite job, tough cutting. We're out here on site for the local power company, and we're doing some clearing of the right of way next to some power lines. They've got an area that has some massive overgrowth, and we're going to go in and take it out with the Ventrac 4520 and the tough cut. This is a pretty interesting property, and the reason they asked us to help them out with it is because of access. So even getting in here is a very difficult job. Getting a truck and trailer is uh, kind of like threading the needle down through this drive. So having a compact setup is paramount. So these are some good examples of the types of stuff that we'll be in today. And this is perfect for the tough cut. This is kind of stemmy material. Uh, it's green on most of it, but then the deeper you get, you can see that it's woody down at the bottom. You know, it's approaching you know, half an inch, three quarters of an inch or so. And uh, we're gonna be able to go in and clear this stuff out pretty efficiently. So the area we're working on today goes about 40 feet deep from where I'm standing back towards uh, the main property. And then it's also maybe 120, 130 yards down this direction uh, as the utility lines go down towards the river. And you can see there's a little bit of a step down here, it's raised up, but this whole overgrowth, this brushy area is what needs to be taken out. And uh, what we're trying to avoid is trees like this one that you see here in the foreground growing up and getting close to those power lines. So if this stuff is left to go for too long, even in Ohio where we don't have a super long growing season, uh, two to three years maybe, and that's enough that you can start getting some trees up towards those low power lines. All right, one last thing before we get started, we're gonna do a quick equipment check. Today we're working with the Ventrac 4520P, that's the Kawasaki engine. Um, we also have, what's a little bit different on this tractor is the mid-mount weight kit here. You can see that mounted to the, the weight bar. That's gonna give us a little bit of extra downforce on those front wheels and some more traction. We obviously have dual wheels because on a job like this with sloped terrain, you need that for stability's sake. And we'll be using the Tough Cut deck. It has a hydraulic flip-up kit, so if we happen to get into any garbage in here, which is always a possibility, any uh, baling twine or barbed wire or something and we get anything wrapped up in there, we can flip the deck up easily to work on that and get it sorted out. And then the last thing on the tractor is the optional canopy and fan, which should come in handy here in about an hour when it's nice and hot and I'll be nice and comfortable under the fan. Mark will still be behind the camera sweating. Sorry, Mark. Good thing you saw that. Yeah, so this is some pretty old barbed wire, but it is a lot of it. Yeah, that would have been a big problem. No. So like I was talking about earlier, I did not know this was here, but when you work in areas like this, it's not uncommon to find garbage, whether it's like old fence posts, uh, truck tires, pretty much anything. So here we have a gigantic ball of old barbed wire. So it's always good to walk the area or at least proceed with caution. While you're mowing, just kind of tentatively move forward, make forward progress, but don't just go full on into everything because you never know what you might hit and uh, wrap up into your mower deck. So thankfully I didn't really hit this. I just kind of pushed it out of the way but noticed it right away and uh, hopefully there's no more.
Okay, so we are officially done with this job for today. We made it all the way to the water, which is where our duties end. Um, it took us, you know, maybe two hours or so to do this. And as you can see through the footage, a lot of very difficult vegetation to cut through, but tractor handled it no problem and uh, was easy to drive over these, these terrain changes. So thankfully we didn't run into any other metal pieces after the initial cluster of barbed wire. Did find a few logs, but luckily they were back towards the woods where we don't need to clear. So got the entire power line and underneath it cleaned up. And uh, you can see progress all the way up the hill. So it looks like there's a couple things, um, just some larger chunks that we'll have to drag back into the woods that we uh, don't want to leave in the farm field. And uh, other than that, we are good to go. Looks nice and clean. Should be good for the next year or two before they have to come back and clean it up again. This property in particular has a bunch of very interesting mounds that sort of spring up out of nowhere. I think they're kind of collected around the poles, so it might have something to do with when the installation happened. I'm not sure. But this tractor is perfect for it. Because of the fact that the flex frame hugs the terrain so well and it articulates and oscillates, you're able to crawl up and over and around those mounds with no problems at all. And it's something that is really easy to do, even for, you know, I have a lot of time on the tractor, but operators who don't have a lot of time on equipment could even do this pretty easily without um, any real challenges. Thank you for watching this video featuring the Ventrac 4520 and Tough Cut. I think we helped out the utility company a lot today by getting out and getting this job done quickly. Uh, can ease the load on them and they can work on other priorities. It's always nice to get out and use the equipment, get some time on it, especially on jobs like this. They're just a lot of fun to get done, especially when you get finished and you can see the progress that you made. So anyway, I enjoyed myself. If you have any questions about the tractor or the equipment that we use today, be sure to visit our website at ventrack.com. And if you wanna see it in action in other applications, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all the rest of our social media.